Hello, my purple bandy dudes, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we defeated the Kimono Girls, and after beating them, they gave us the Clear Belt. In today's episode, we're gonna follow after them to the Bell Tower because once we beat them, all of a sudden they start freaking out because they said they saw a shadow of something flying over the Bell Tower. So we're gonna go and discover what that is today. Let's talk to this guy right here. Past here is the Bell Tower. This tower is built as a place of rest for Ho, the legendary flying type Pokemon. Since Ho left, many people have gone up to the tower to try to bring it back, but none have succeeded in making Ho appear. Morty, the gym leader, is one who has tried. I see, that's the Ecruteague gym badge. The badge alone will not do any good, but I can let you through. Please, do go on. So it looks like we are making our way to the Bell Tower, not just because of some crazy noise, but because we're going to see if we can bring back the legendary Pokemon Ho-Oh. We made it to Bell Chime Trail. This is a really pretty area. I like this area. Well, fall is my favorite season, so that could be why. Let's head inside of this place, which I'm assuming is... The Bell Tower. Very, very cool. Look at the little rat -ta 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 over there in the corner of that image. Alright, pretty sweet. Let's start going upwards. That thing you have. You have done it. Please, come through. A rainbow wing just started glowing all of a sudden. Something more mystical than we think is going on here in the bell tower. I'm going to go ahead and use a max repel because I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of Pokemon up here and I don't really want to be bumping into any of them. All right, let's start going through here. I'm pretty sure it's also going to be like a mazy kind of area, which it is. Okay, cool. So this is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to see if we're going to be able to make our way through it today, which I'm sure we're going to be able to because we are, we are smart. We know what we are doing. Why? Can I not get through here? Am I stuck? What is this? This this big pole is sitting here in my face. How are you supposed to see that? Look at that. The big, huge middle center pole is like blocking your view. And no one would be able to see that. Like seriously. Oh, whoa. Look at this. Okay, this looks like a lot of fun. Let me see. I'm going to jump down here. Uh, I think I'm heading right. I'm pretty sure we just got to head upwards. So as long as we keep finding the ladders upwards, I'm pretty sure we'll be headed in the right direction. All right, pretty cool. Let's see what's going on down here. There's a little one down. Let's go down. And I'm pretty sure this is no that wait okay oh I thought I was gonna circle around there for a second okay we're gonna choose right or left I'm gonna go right let's go down here should I go for that pokeball mm, I don't know there's a ladder down here I'm just gonna go to the ladder screw it who knows what's in that pokeball let's just head on upwards if it really comes down to it I could always come back and get them and look we got ourselves a pokeball which is a max potion are they setting us up for something what is going on here what is this trickiness that is happening up in this tower oh right we got ourselves another pokemon very cool another pokeball Hope you guys are having a nice Friday. I know I am. It's very nice, relaxing. Well, I should be studying because I have an exam. Since it is summer, my classes are a lot more compact. So it means like I have an exam every week. It's pretty nuts. But you know, overall, it's a lot more fun because you get to learn a lot more stuff in a shorter amount of time. And that's always good. Okay, we just got that. Repels effect wore off. I'm going to go ahead and use another one. And let's continue onwards inside of this place. Okay, I'm going to head down. There seems to be these portal looking things now let's see let's go into this one uh let's see if this one is taking us in the right direction i'm not sure if it is there's another one right here where the heck are these things taking us oh look a pokeball pretty cool though i'll take it i'll take an hp up that's that's pretty awesome i've never really figured out the whole function of the hp up can you only use it a certain amount of times and is it better to use at higher levels or lower like i don't know I, it's just something i've always thought about okay there's another portal here i'll just hop into it why not uh maybe maybe they'll take me in the right direction all i know is we gotta head all the way up so hopefully we'll be heading there um sketchy looking bridge and i think we have made it to the top yes this is where we welcome ho -Oh. When the dance we practice for many days becomes one with the sound of the clear bell we entrusted to you, then Ho shall come down from the great arch of the sky once again.
that is indeed Ho Ho, the guardian of the sky around here from ancient times. So many have tried and tried, only to fail. Rodri, your heart and the clear bell and harmony have finally made it up here. Rodri, don't you see? Ho Ho must have been waiting for someone like you all this time. Wouldn't you agree? And it looks like it is time for us to finally take on Ho Ho. I'm going to say very quickly, and then we're going to be ready to begin this battle. Now that we've gone ahead and taken care of that, we are more than ready to take on this magnificent legendary Pokemon. I've gone ahead and put Aqui in front, so it's time for us to go ahead and do this. Let's go. Show! So here we go, Rodri versus Ho-Oh, the legendary fire-flying type Pokemon. I am very excited for this. This legendary Pokemon is absolutely amazing, and that's why I went ahead and put Aqui in front, because I'm a little bit worried of how tough it's actually going to be. Okay, let's go ahead and throw out the Yawn first of all. As you guys know, the fire-flying combination is going to be very, very strong, so I think Aqui is going to be the one that's going to be able to, you know, tank it out the best against this Pokemon with our water and ice type moves. Although, the water is going to be pretty effective, the ice isn't going to be as effective as I want it to be because, you know, the fire cancels it out a whole lot. So we're just going to figure out how much it's going to take for us to lower it down, get it down to that little red smidget, and then we can start just throwing a bunch of Ultra Balls at it. All right. So first of all, I went for the waterfall. You know, this should do a good amount. Let's hope we can actually weaken it to about half. And that didn't do as much as I expected. Sunny day is also out, but Ho-Oh is asleep now, which is good for us. That's like, yes, finally. Like, we can take a little bit of a breather now because we won't have this Pokemon, like, spamming us with all these really strong fire-type moves. I'm pretty sure these fire-type moves are going to do quite a bit of damage, even on Aqui. So we're going to figure out, you know, exactly what we have have to do okay let's keep going with the waterfall then it seems to be working as of now and if we can get close that's when i'll probably start throwing out the ice beam if not then you know i could always switch to glamis but it's gonna be a little bit tougher since glamis is you know a little bit weaker than the rest i think it would be you know a good strategy to probably bring him out and weaken it down even a little more okay we got it down pretty far so why not just go for an ultra ball right away we have 32 of them I took the tips that you guys gave me. You told me to buy a bunch of Ultra Balls, so that's what I did. I'm expecting it to be a pretty long, tough battle, so, you know, we might as well wait it out. Holy crap. I honestly thought we were going to get it there for a second. Oh, my goodness. I was just, like, rambling on, and I really thought we were going to get the Pokemon there. Okay, I'm going to keep throwing out the Yawns, because if we have it asleep and, like, little smidgety Red Bard, I think it's going to be a great combination, and hopefully that'll make it easy for us to catch it. All right. All fingers crossed here. That, you know, it won't KO us with some crazy fire blast now that sunny day is out. And then that we can really start some stuff going. Alright, I'm going to throw out another Ultra Ball. Why not? I am AB tricking this. For all you AB non-believers, I, I always AB trick. I don't know why. It just It's something I grew up with and it's something that I've gotten used to. So it's just kind of something that I do. Okay, ho oh, oh, is going for the fire blast. Ah, it's probably going to KO me. Yes, it did. We are down... Okay, so now it's time for Glamis to come out. I think this will be the first time we actually have Glamis out in battle because I think it's going to be uh, the best shot we have to actually weaken it even a little further down. So come on out, Glamis. It's your time to shine the first time you are out in the battle arena. All right, let's see what Glamis has. We could throw out a Dragon Rage would KO it for sure. Um, let's throw an Extreme Speed. Let's see how much damage it'll do. I don't think it'll KO it, so I'm thinking that it'll probably get it down, you know, pretty close to dead if not there okay that actually did quite well that i was actually you know right about where i wanted it to be so that's pretty good we could probably use one more before ho, -Ho wakes up and then once it's wake up it wakes up we're probably gonna have to revive aqui bring it back out put ho, -Ho back to sleep and then keep on going there we go look at that damage beautiful it's got it's down to like a little smidget and that's gonna be perfect for us Ho oh, went for the extra sensory and it KO'd us. Of course, I mean, how much? Well, what can we expect there? It's a, it's a freaking legendary. Of course, it's gonna take down a little like level whatever Pokemon. Okay, um, who would be best to tank it out against Ho? -Oh? Let's send out the lows for now for now just for now so we can start actually throwing some pokeballs out and then let's see what we can go from there all right let's throw out another ultra ball all fingers crossed here that we don't have to freaking use all 30 of them because that would be ridiculous there's been times where i've literally had to use like 30 freaking pokeballs to catch a pokemon so i'm just hoping that's not going to be one of these times ho oh, went for the sacred fire that's probably going to do a crap load of damage on Velos. 
Oh my goodness. And we are also burned. This Pokemon is really going to start hurting us. Um, and I am KO'd. Fantastic. All right. I am going to bring out Zuko. And if Zuko can't tank fire type moves, then we are going to be looking pretty dang screwed. All right. Let's go ahead and revive Aqui while we're at it then. Because Zuko is honestly our best shot to tank for a bit until we can get Aqui ready to keep things going. Okay. Ho-Oh is going for the fire blast. Whew, please don't KO me. Please don't put a bunch of damage on me. Just oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. About time, Zuko. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and use a max potion then on Aqui. Why not? That's gonna put us at full HP, and then we'll have our tank ready to continue on. Okay. Ho is going for a sunny day. That is gonna give us an opening to throw more Ultra Balls at it. As you guys know, I am not gonna be using the Master Ball on Ho Oh. I think it'll be best if we just save the Master Ball for later on for something else. You know that it'll it'll probably be better to save for later on, and that's what I'm planning on doing. We should be able to get Ho Oh within one of these Ultra Balls, and then keep going from there. All right, it's going for another Fire Blast. Uh, I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that one bit. I'm honestly getting ready to switch. Ouch! That hurt a lot. Holy crap. Okay, Ho-Oh is not messing around today. Ho-Oh's like, yo, no. You are not going to be catching me inside of one of these Pokeballs today. Let's keep going. Come on. Two, second tap. Third tap. Oh! <laughs> I thought I had it there. I thought I had it there. I'm so close. You have like no HP, dude. Just look, if you stay inside the Ultra Ball, I'm going to treat you nice. All right. I'm going to treat you like one of my, you know, team. I'm going to treat you like a, a very nice Pokemon. And, you know, we'll have a lot of fun together. You just got to stay inside of that Ultra Ball. Just be a very nice Pokemon. And then, you know, just get along with all the other Pokemon that are inside of the Pokebox. And you, we can make this work. We can really make this work, Ho-Oh. All right, the Sacred Fire didn't do that much. Even though we are burned, that is not good. That is not what I'm hoping for. All right, I went for another Yawn. Now, now it's probably the time to start throwing Ultra Balls at it. You know, let's hope we can actually get it in one of these. And I guess we are going to find out. Okay, let's go Ultra Ball, please. A, B trick. Here's the A and there's the B. Let's stay in there. Be nice. Just be nice. And no, it doesn't want to stay in there today. It's angry. It's mean. It's going for an extra sensory. And after this, it'll be asleep. And then from there, hopefully, we can actually catch it. Oh, you are giving me a lot of trouble, buddy. You are giving me a whole lot of trouble. All right, Ho is asleep. We are burned. That's probably going to KO me. All right. And we are fainting left and right against this legendary. Let's send out Den. But we'll see if Den can actually do a little bit of tankation. I guess hopefully it can. All right. Now that it's asleep, this is the best opportunity we have to catch it. So let's just hope that my strategy went over well and that this thing will stay in its Pokeballs. But it doesn't look like it wants to stay in there today, which is just hardy har har awesome for me because it's going to make it a lot tougher on me to catch. Two three caught it holy crap okay we got it so there we go at long last we freaking got ho after it took down a bajillion of my team so there we go that is absolutely incredible we have caught ho oh the rainbow pokemon it is a fire flying type legends claim this pokemon flies the world skies continuously on its magnificent seven colored wings we are gonna give ho -Oh a nickname it's something that i've been thinking about for quite a while so we're gonna see if you guys will actually pick up on it it's pretty cool and i'm gonna go ahead and call it incy like incinerator because it burns everything down around it and there we go let's talk to this kimono girl again you've not only made ho -Oh appear but you have also caught it you are so wonderful there is nothing more for us to say take good care of yourself in your journey Okay, so that seems like that is all we have had to do here. I wonder if we can escape rope the heck out of here now and make our way back down. Oh, we can't use it in here. I guess we have to go inside and then finally, at long last, escape this place. I cannot believe we caught Ho-Ho. It was a little bit more difficult than I expected, but we actually did quite well. What are we supposed to expect from a fight with a legendary Pokemon? That was a lot of fun, and I, I had a blast with catching Ho-Ho, and I'm very excited to see what else is gonna come from this. It's Lyra calling us. I'm sure it's nothing important, so we'll think- ah, All right, Lyra. All right, let's see what you have to say. Let's see what your brilliance has to say. Hello, this is Lyra. How are you? You know, if you're headed over to Route 40, you should take a polywag with you and see what happens. 
Thanks for the tip, but I already have a water type Pokemon. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to keep exploring around Johto, see what else we have to do. If you guys have any tips on what you think we should do, you know, maybe some crazy adventure that you know of, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.